No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Color Grading Central, professional color grading with Color Finale. Shutterstock, where ideas take shape. Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. Big Stock, videos and images for everyone. Hey everyone, we're here with Barry uh, at Panasonic and he's showing us the Vericam with uh, a very special feature of uh, two native ISOs, apparently. Um, tell us about this. Sure, so this, this camera has, as you said, two native ISOs, 800 and 5,000. So 5,000 is two and a half stops of more light or more light gathering compared to 800. So the set right now is designed, this lighting is designed for an 800 ASA camera. And this is the, typically the amount of light you'd want which is about 30 foot candles of, of light in the middle of the set. And it's fairly well exposed. I mean, we've got a waveform to show this nice fat negative we've created. Now I've got other lighting cues here. This is a lighting cue with, from 30 foot candles, we're down to three foot candles, all right? And you can see it's not as well lit, certainly. I'm gonna switch now to the native 5000. And we're almost right back where we were again and that now we've got about one and a half foot candles in the front by the fireplace there, and you still have a perfectly decent negative, and you can see how bright things look. This is the log image, this is the color corrected image. So that's the most amazing part about it, and they use it in completely different technology. There's two separate, effectively almost two separate sensors. Okay, yeah, I was wondering. And by doing this, they can, they can get a true 5,000, so if you look, It'll be too hard to tell with the cameras, but the difference is, is as you increase the gain in normal steps from 800 to 1250 to 1600, you'll get to 4000 and you'll start to see a lot of noise on the image. Then you'll go to 5000 and the noise drops. <laughs> it's just you know, yeah. dramatic. The other thing that's about this camera is that it also does the internal grading. So all the grading I'm doing using the live grade software, and we happen to have the trackballs from a tangent panel, all that's done in camera and the files are saved with the camera. So as we roll here, every time I make a new CDL or upload a new LUT, all that information is saved with every single file. So I can, in post, if I'm working with a DP and we get a look that we really like, when they get back to the post house and they play this stuff back, they can apply immediately with, because it's part of the system. They'll look and see, okay, this is the way the DP envisioned this thing looking. I can move it around a lot because I'm still storing the, the log file. but. It's how many LUTs can you store? It, however many clips you want. If you have a thousand clips, you could have a thousand different LUTs on there. Okay, wow, that's a lot. Um, and, and so this is a super 35 uh, size super sensor? sensor. Um, it'll record 4K, it'll record UHD, you know, 3840, it'll record 2K, and it'll record standard, you know, def what now I'm calling standard def resolution, which is HD, but <laughs> standard HD. Yeah, so everything's uh, relative, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. um, yeah. And it has numerous outputs, so you can have the, the log out, um, you can have a color corrected output. The, each monitor, there are two separate monitor outs, each one of those can have different gradients on them. The viewfinder comes out as an SDI signal also, and you can put different things on that, so you've got multiple outputs, you can set them up however everybody wants to see them. Focus puller wants to see the status. The I want to see the color corrected image, somebody else might want to see something else. And it's all adjustable. And so the Vericam itself isn't new, but the but the the new uh, native ISO of 5000 is 5000, new. Yeah. And um, well, the, the, the V35 that's that is new. Okay. I mean, you know, it's, it's been out a few months, but the 5000 is part of that, right? Yeah. And um, is it is it available now? Uh, what's the pricing coming in at? It's available now. You'd have to ask probably the front desk about the pricing. Um, it is available now. The the only thing on this one, if you can see, there's a codex recorder. So you can also set this to be, if you're doing a really high-end film job and somebody says, I want to only have the raw data recorded um, without any compression, you can do that with the codex recorder. Now. Nice. And that's, that's shown here. It's a, it's a prototype, but that will be available. And again, codex would be best to answer that. Uh, it was mentioned that the HVX200 uh, could potentially be a good B camera for, for the very cam. Uh, right. Do you think that that's accurate? I think so. I think, you know, these days you have enough control over all the color and matrices and things. Most any camera can be matched to any other camera. I mean, it becomes a, an issue of how you set the cameras up. You know, you, you don't want to over-sharpen things because then you can't undo that after the fact. 
um, you know, the black magic design cameras have been have been matched to Alexas and Reds for for a while. I mean, and people mix and match a lot. So, and what do you anticipate being the main application for the Vericam? The, I mean, the episodic TV, films, commercial work, anything that wants a 35 camera, um, and when they want to shoot with less light. You know, less light. I mean, there's, there's certainly situations where if, you, if you've got a long-term episodic at a studio in Manhattan, electricity costs you a lot of money. <laughs> you know, all the lights that you have in the grid. Yeah. If you can cut those down, you know, 10 to 1, the number of lights or the amount of light that you're putting in, yeah. the air conditioning costs drop, the, you know, <laughs> and there are some situations where you want to shoot in places, you know, you can't have a huge amount of light, you know. Yeah. Um, you heard it here first, save uh, electricity bill by switching to it's Panasonic. Green, it's <laughs> green technology. <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah. it's a green technology. Right on. It's a green technology. Right on. Well, uh, thank you so much, and uh, we're very excited about it. Okay. Thank you.